the Crane Room for your lunch and dinner rendezvous. You'll enjoy their pleasant atmosphere. The Crane Room takes pride in their wide variety menu. Appetizers, sandwiches, soups, salads, entrees, pasta, and the best burgers in town. Newcastle's best selection of domestic, import, and craft beers from around the world. And the Crane Room features a 35-tap draft system. Ask about their daily specials that will please you every time. The Crane Room is located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Neshanic Township. Call 724-656-1553. When I'm on the go, I take NCTV 45 with me. Give Mangina Outside Services a call when you want a yard project done and done right. Bud Mangina is the owner, and he and his staff will do just about any yard project, and he also does hauling of your trash and unwanted items. Mangina Outside Services covers the greater Newcastle area with very affordable prices. Tell Bud you heard this message on NCTV 45 and you'll receive a 10% discount. 614-3658. That's 724-614-3658. Quiet, relaxing tranquility. That's Bethy's Bacon and Eatery in Valamp, Pennsylvania. But you may ask, is it a bakery or is it a restaurant? Bakery, restaurant. Well, they have cakes of every kind. And not only that, they have burgers also. And turnovers, and salads, and donuts, and nachos, and cupcakes, and cream puffs. And just goes on and on. But let's not forget, home of the plate-sized cinnamon roll. Is it a bakery? Is it a restaurant? You decide. Bethy's in both. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle for fine gifts and more. Butts Flowers, 120 East Washington Street, Newcastle, with a wide variety of flowers for any occasion. Call Butts Flowers, 724-652-7727, or toll free from anywhere, 1-800-443-7726. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle. Keep watching NCTV 45 for Cook in the Castle. You're going to love it. EAS, Emergency Answering Services, can get that call when you can't. We are a trusted answering service who operates 24-7. Locally owned and operated, when you need help answering your phones, call EAS. We'll get the message to you. Barada for NCTV 45, and we're with Marianne Caverell. Thank you, Marianne. And how are you enjoying the fireworks festival? I, this is a great idea. In fact, actually, I have to tell you something that um, moving it downtown three years ago was my idea as a city councilwoman because I'm applauding you. Thank you. Um, and I'm glad that, that New Visions and the Hoyt. In the fireworks festival, the tourist bureau were able to do this. I think it's going to be so exciting. You can tell already how nice it's been. Well, we've been advertising it on NCTV 45 quite regularly. Matter of fact, I'll give you a few cards for some of the other councilmen. I'm not Spre on council anymore. Well, spread it around to your friends because we're being watched by quite a few people. We're in 36 states and 17 countries, but 98% of our viewership is right here in Pennsylvania. So, but our numbers are, are pretty large. I but this because I just read something about you all. Oh, you did? Yeah, and I don't remember where. I don't know if it's on my Facebook page or whether it was something um, I saw, you know, like in, in 
paper or whatever, but I, did, I just read this. Thank you so much for those kind words. Now tell us, what booth is this? This is the information booth. All, sh all the street vendors and all the street performers come here and register and we give them a badge. Any visitor to us, we tell them we have a program of all the activities that are going on for the next two days. And by the way, that program was posted on NCTV 45 and also posted on NCTV 45 was the map put out by New Visions right. and the communication. Right. So if, if you lose your paper, you still have it on your phone. Absolutely. And um, there are a lot of activities going on. Beautiful artistry is down here. The Wounded War Warrior concert is starting with the five bands for tonight until 10 o'clock. And there'll be entertainment and food all day tomorrow. And culminating with the fireworks at 10 o'clock. That's great. Now I can't really wait to get off of work. <laughs> We are the fireworks capital of the world. That's why you should let Newcastle spark a new you. We are the rocket to the stars here. There you go. There you go. Now I wanna I wanna talk to Larry Corvey. It, it's just the the people the people that I always beat in tennis. The people that I always beat in tennis, I try not to interview them. <laughs> Larry, step up here. I knew Mary Ann, but I have to make it look good. Okay, Larry. So tell me, how is the day going for you? Terrific. I mean, it's great. Look at all the people downtown. I mean, that's what New Visions is about, trying to get people downtown. And you know, I, I see people walking. That's great because that means they parked down at the other end and they walked up here. Okay, but we also have a shuttle, right? Right. You can pick it up near Lowe's, if you will, up in Union Township. It'll bring you right downtown. And it's going to run continuously till I think, after the fireworks tomorrow night, like 1130 or so, it wraps up. So it's free, too. It's free. There you go. You can't be free. You know, let Newcastle put a little spark in your wallet. <laughs> well said. I'm glad you picked up on the spark. Oh, if, if you've been watching us, we interviewed Kim Kohler-Jones yesterday for Focus NC, and she talked about the information booth. And this is where, if you're a volunteer, you're to report right. here, and was talking about the name tag and what have you. It's been interesting because as I've been doing these interviews, I... I I want people to understand that it's not a canned thing because I ran into about 25 people I knew all at once and it was like, wow. You're live. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're live and we're out there and this will be on. We'll have excerpts on tomorrow for weekend. Well, if I get an opportunity, I'd like to welcome everybody in Lawrence County to come down to downtown Newcastle. They need to be here tonight, tomorrow. Enjoy the festivities, fine food, arts, music, crafts, things for the kids to do. They need to be here. And me and Kim commented on the great food yesterday because the, the food is utterly fantastic. You can go the world over, but I think we got a lock on the food thing. So now, is Steffi going to come over here? Please. We saved, we saved the best for last. Okay. <laughs> Steffi, how you have been? I've been fine, thank you. How are you? Good to see you. How's your endeavor Excellent. going? Very, very well. Good. Step right here so we can see you. There you go. And Steph, you you work down here. How have you been enjoying the fireworks festival? Well, I have been enjoying what has happened so far since it's early in the festival. I'm glad that we're back downtown. We started here and we ended up here. So this is, I think, the right, the right place. And I think this combination with the fireworks and the art festival is going to be a great marriage. You know, that was a slogan one time. Newcastle, the right place. That's, that's interesting. Something from way back when. Actually, one of my former students uh, won that slogan contest. That was his slogan. That is Eric, tremendous. Eric Scheider, he's now the director of the Warhol Museum. You can't beat that. How you like that? Newcastle, people are everywhere. And he's a union boy. Too, like you. <laughs> there you go. 
It's hard to shake that union stuff. But hey, thank you so much for spending some time with us. What's your favorite spot in the fireworks festival? I can't say yet. Because I can guess the artist market for me. But uh, I'll have to let you know that after the whole thing's over. I'm anxious to see the opera because Newcastle Lyric Opera, we had them in and they were just tremendous. Well, you know they're out front right now and they have an opera quiz you can take. I'm going to do that. Thank you so much, Steffi. Thank you, Larry. Have a great one. This is Angelo Parada for NCTV 45. Forty-five, And we're with Jerry Kern right now on this side. Jerry, how are you enjoying the fireworks festival? This is absolutely great. This is a, a new look for the city. It's the first time they've combined all the arts with the fireworks festival and it's working out fine. That's great. And I'm also with John. John Myers. John, is this your first time at the fireworks festival? No. No, I've been down here a number of times, but this is the first time that we've had it all together. Now, tell the people what you represent. Uh, we represent a nonprofit organization called the Historic Warner Cascade Theater. And uh, our mission is to reopen the Warner Brothers' very first theater, which was here in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. That's great. That's great. When did they have that theater here? Uh, it was 1907 when they opened. Tremendous. And I read today where the chairs came from the uh, Offutt Funeral Home. Uh, when the Warner Brothers came to Newcastle, their finances were not in the best shape, so uh, they couldn't afford chairs. So they rent they they not didn't rent they they borrowed chairs from a, a nearby funeral home. And so when there weren't uh, when there wasn't a funeral, the chairs would be over here at the Cascade Theater. And when there would be a funeral, then the Cascade Theater would have to shut down. And the big news is that the historical society. Uh, discovered that uh, they have some of those chairs that the Warner Brothers borrowed from the Offutt Funeral Home back in 1907 and they have uh, lent one of those chairs to us for our memorabilia collection. That's, that is absolutely tremendous. Well, we wish you all the best. Uh, your expected opening is when, Jerry? February 2nd, uh, next year, 2015. Okay, and I hope NCTV 45 will be invited to cover the opening. You're invited. You're invited. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you, John. It was great Appreciate seeing it. you. And stop by. They got they got tons of things here. They got drinking mugs. They got pens. I'm looking at visors, bags, books, and even a CD. That's it. It makes it all worthwhile. Stop down. And look at here. We have a a book of the Warner family history and it's autographed by Cass Warner, the granddaughter of Harry. Wow, take a look at that. So get your autographed edition. It'll be great. For NCTV 45, this is Angelo Parada. Hope you keep watching. With Mary Emery Williams. And Mary, what's the name of your company? The name of the business is Alize Art Glass. There and you... I produce jewelry made of dye throwing glass. It's very, very beautiful. We're going to show a little sample right here. Wow. Where, where are you from? I'm from Pittsburgh. What part? I went to Duquesne. I know exactly where that is. Now you were saying you saw NCTV 45. You watched it? I did. I saw an interview, I believe, about this year's festival with a couple of the uh, organizers here in Newcastle. There you go. Well, we thank you for being a watcher, and I hope you keep watching NCTV 45. You have a great day. You too. Hello, this is... Vendor. Vendor. I know this guy from the Newcastle Camera Club. Now, he could tell us anything he wants, but he's here with these great and gorgeous pictures. And just to let you know, 
The Hoyt is having a camera club exposition, and that's when? Next month. Next month. See, I'm up on this stuff. And if you watch NCTV 45, you will be too. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the pictures. What, t what type of pictures do we have here? Uh, I got a lot of travel photography. Uh, I travel throughout the world. And uh, so I can kind of, if you can pan in on this one. This is our room. That's our room. It's beautiful. That's French, the Mediterranean. This is it. Milan, That's out my back window. <laughs> you can't beat that. So now you heard it here. He said he's taking me to France, Italy, and Ireland, and we're gonna hold him to that. <laughs> but can I, can I introduce my friend Gibby McGill? Thank you, Gibby. How you been? Good. This is NCTV 45. I'm Angelo Parada. I brought about a return. Is this your first time? There you go. Well, hey, you know what? What are friends for? Is this your first time at the fireworks festival? Yep. And you're from Newcastle? The Volant area. Do you go to Bethy's Bake Shop? Bethy's Bake Shop. And Eatery. She's right on the bridge. She's one of our advertisers. Um, and, she, matter of fact, she just came on board. So I give her a shout out. And she has a car cruise in Volant this week. So I'm going to let these people go through. You take it easy. It was nice meeting you. Always a pleasure seeing you. I want to tell you, you people that are uh, looking right now, tune in. He got a fantastic uh, show. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Take it easy for NCTV 45. This is Angelo Parada. and the band is playing so I hope it's not too loud and we're at Kathy's Catering okay Kathy what do you have uh, tonight I have meatball sandwiches I have sausage sandwiches with peppers and onions and tomorrow I'll have stuffed shells and cavatelli there you go what a menu that is how long you been coming to the fireworks festival Oh, I've been coming for the last 20 years, and I've been catering uh, for the last five and six years. How long you been in Newcastle? All my life. There you go. There you. <laughs> Is there food good? It's great. There you go. Try her food. You can't beat it. There. That's Kathy's catering. She's over by the band. Okay. PNC parking lot tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We have a great relationship with Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors in downtown Newcastle at 210 East Washington Street. And whenever you watch Focus NC, my wardrobe is furnished by Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors. Bill's Bake Shop will make you happy. Bill Cast is the owner, and he and his staff keep the tradition going with all those bakery items that you remember as a kid. Just to name a few items, Bill makes cream sticks, cinnamon rolls, bear claws, cream horns, cannoli, cakes, pies, cookies, bread, pizza, and so much more. Bill's Bake Shop, located at 228 North Liberty Street in the Mahoningtown section of Newcastle, is open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 to 5, and Sunday, 7 to 2, closed on Monday. Bill's where smiles are everywhere. Call 724-654-4223. Make it Lanigan's Irish Pub, where you'll be amazed with the weekly specials, pub grub, salads, burgers, sandwiches, Irish specialties, and desserts. Lanigan's has a full bar featuring domestic, craft, and Irish draft beer. You can also book a party at Lanigan's at 126 East Washington Street in downtown Newcastle. As they say at Lanigan's Irish Pub, the best Irish food since Ireland. Call 724-657-3444.
This is NCTV 45. You can watch us anytime Hi, on I'm your time. On location at Little Johnny's 2 in downtown Newcastle, right on East Washington Street. I'm here with the, the owner, Chris Quiera. Chris, you got a great place. You've been here how long now? We've been downtown coming on four years now, but Little Johnny's has been around for over 15 years. When you walk into your restaurant, right away you see a lot of spaciousness, it's clean atmosphere, and, and on every table I notice you have your menu, and that's what impresses me most about Little Johnny's. It's not just delicious pizza, he has a, a huge variety. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that's very true. We do. We have dining for about 50, so you can come in, you can sit down, you can eat, but say you're on the go, we do delivery and takeout as well. And not just pizza, like you like you mentioned, we do flatbreads, we do wings, we do strombolis, calzones, hoagies, salads, so it runs the gauntlet. You have whatever soup you need too, to eat, right? We do. We have homemade uh, wedding soup, homemade stuffed pepper soup. So whatever your needs are, we can do it for dining, delivery, or takeout. And they have great pricing. They have a lot of beverages as well. You're going to love Little Johnny's Pizza because they've been around a long time and they know what they're doing. So stop by and... What's the contact information, Chris? Little Johnny's 2, located at 130 East Washington Street. Give us a call or stop in, 724-657-2210. Be looking for us on the road again and see TV 45. We're with Sammer from Mary's Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Sammer, how are you today? Very good, thank you. That's great. Can you tell us what kind of food you have at your restaurant? I have lots of good food. And I have chicken over rice, kidney, gravy, lemon rot, chicken over rot. All healthy food, don't worry about that. Sounds great. Thank Middle you. Eastern food. And you're on Long Avenue in Newcastle. Thank you, yeah. Open from? Six day a week. Six day a week. From what? Uh, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock to 10 o'clock night. 11 o'clock to 10 o'clock, okay. We'll see everybody at Mary's Restaurant in downtown Newcastle.